Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Giovanni Valderas. I am the exhibitions manager at the Fort Worth Community Arts Center. And today I'm so blessed to have Maria Villanueva. Hopefully I said that right. Um, and she is currently showing with us in the main gallery with her uh, fantastic show called Legend Systems. Maria, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, yes, uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Um, so yeah, my name is Maria Villanueva. I, um, I have a show at the Fort Worth Community Arts Center in the main gallery, and I'm so thankful to have that space there. Um, uh, the big windows, the light, everything. Um, so I just graduated from UNT um, in May. Uh, and so this work, <laughs> so even, this so. work, uh, yeah, this work is uh, basically uh, my research uh, for the past three years. Uh, everything that I've been working with, with land, uh, nature, and urban environments, landscape. Um, and so in the exhibition, I have sculptures, paintings, video, uh, map, uh, and uh, kind of combining the use of technology and uh, walking or just traditional and non-traditional methods of art making. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to have all of that combined in, um, in this great space. In regards to the work, you know, I, I, I was wondering, you know, how vital is it to have your work embedded in outdoor environments? I mean, would you describe it as as a work mimicking or acclimating to this environment that you set them out I and mean, just I, I think a quick note for everyone maria tends to not only put her work in galleries um but she puts it outside in the outdoor environment uh yeah and uh you know the the main um objective with this um project um was really kind of uh, combine these ideas of gallery in, or a gallery environment, this kind of perfect world that we've built for art and contrasting it with uh, public art and also the idea of the art being part of the public and also thinking of uh, space as public um, and also including the land um, or nature, the, the outdoors, or, or kind of uh, thinking of whose land are we standing on or who does it belong to. Um, so I wanted to, uh, again, work outside and also maybe bring it inside or bring the inside outside, kind of combining human and nature um, elements. Um, so yeah, I did a lot of, uh, I did some sculptures that I installed in, um, public spaces and you know sometimes it was without permission uh, because it is a, a public space uh, so for example I did one installation uh, under the overpass at 635 and 35 and it's kind of just there uh, and it, it interacts with the rain so uh, whenever it floods the sculptures float and then when it goes down, they just kind of stay there. I tether them to the ground. Um, and I visited the space before I left. Um, and they were there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, and then I brought into the gallery, like a video of me making the work, installing it. Um, and then there's also some um, research on how I came up with those ideas, drawings and things like that. And the whole point was to kind of engage the audience in this like the making of the artwork where if you're not there to see it because these spaces that are public are sometimes kind of, uh, you know, maybe sketchy a little bit because they're not visited, they're not manicured for people to visit. But but then they are just kind of uh, they're still there. They're part of the environment. Yeah, you know that's a really great point. You know th these locations that you find, they're kind of isolated in these urban environments. And I often wonder, is it can your work be construed as kind of a critique on urban planning? And, or and I don't know what 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 would your thoughts be behind that? 
I think that it is something that comes with it. So I am not going to deny it. There is definitely that um, that comes with it. Um, but to me, to, to my, the purpose and how I did the work was more of, uh, I would say, um, uh, maybe a spiritual um, relationship with the land. And for me, these places that I, that I use are kind of, um, you know, they, they make me sad. And so I think they're, they're lonely, um, they're discarded, abandoned, nobody really cares what happens there. Um, and so to me, going and installing something there is kind of a, a, a way to pay attention to it, uh, visit it, uh, connecting with it. Um, so it is, it is more of a, uh, a, a form of restoring it somehow. You know, I grew up in Mexico and um, I grew up working in the fields, uh, working with the land, um, sort of, you know, uh, eating from it. Uh, it kind of like, it feeds me. So I, I had this like a um, relationship with it. And then moving to the U.S., it's, I've always lived in very urban areas like San Antonio, Austin, um, and then Dallas is just, you know, this huge metroplex. It seems like you're wanting to view the viewer to kind of explore these dualities, especially when you mix in technology with, you know, this kind of fragile ecosy ecosystem that we have. And, and I was just wondering, you know, how important does technology play a role into your practice? Um, I think it's uh, increasingly um it plays more and more uh, and not so much that I acknowledge it. it. It is, you know, I mean, we are kind of becoming sort of like a subconsciously cyborgs, you know, our phones just attached to us. Um, so it is this more of like a, a subconscious thing um, in, in the, in the, um, in the exhibition, I have a, a tablet and, and it has an augmented reality application where you can grab and like, point to the uh, QR codes, it gives you an idea of what they look like, you know, where you don't have to be there in person. Um, so it's kind of this creating this uh, access with technology. Nice. Yeah. And that's one thing I really appreciate about the show that you're able through technology to have the viewer go to the spot where you are placing these objects and take it all in and explore these, these areas that we're not maybe comfortable with and, 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 but definitely maybe not even accessible, but this idea of just pushing past those things. So yes. before we go, I could talk to you for hours, but realizing that we have a short time, um, what do you, what are you doing now and how, if anyone was interested in finding more information about you, how would they find you? Uh, yeah. So I just moved to New York. Yay. Um, I got a, I got a job. And so I'm really happy about that. <laughs> I, which is what we all want, right? Job. Uh, so I am uh, a visiting assistant professor at Alfred University. And so I will be here for the next foreseeable future. But uh, my website is uh, worksbymaria.com. Uh, I also have Instagram, which I, you know, kind of uh, the whatever I do sometimes I've been going to a lot of like waterfalls lately uh, <laughs> just getting to know the area a little bit uh, but it's just uh, ad works by Maria V um, so yeah and I'll be going back to Denton next week to be installed but yeah that's nice well congratulations that's amazing to get a job right out of graduate school and I think this just speaks to like the quality of your work and, and what kind of person you are. So kudos to you. It, it's amazing. So uh, thank and, you. And thank yeah, you. you're I welcome. It. So everyone, please come out and check out Maria's show. It'll be up for a little bit longer. So please come out and check it out. It's amazing. Maria, thank you so much for your time. And and uh, yeah, everyone have a, have a good uh, day. Thank you. See y'all.